the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Good morning, everyone. I'm Myrel, and join me for the next 30 minutes of fun-filled cooking, where we will fill not only your tummies, but your spirit, food and soul. Kahapon, I was so busy and I don't know what to do dahil everything is not working fine with me and my schedule is not working fine. So I totally forgot to go to the market and buy some food because may darating ako ngayong bisita. Ngayon, hindi ko tuloy alam ko anong ipiprepare ko sa kanila. I only have here some few ingredients that might probably be... I don't know. Hi, Mai. Hi, Arlene. This is for you. Oh, thank you so much. How You're are so you? sweet. I'm okay. good. Wait. Bakit parang may problema ka? Problema ka? Ah, yeah. Meron. May darating kasi akong bisita. So? At wala akong may ikli. Hmm. Teka muna. Di ba ikaw ang nagturo sa akin maging resourceful? Mm-hmm. At sabi sa Bible, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Ibibigay ng Panginoon kung anong kailangan mo. So, meron ka dyan. Mag-isip tayo ng recipe na pwede gamitin dito sa mga ingredients na to. So, ano naman ang Sige. naiisip mong gawin? Meron ako ditong kamote. Okay. Meron akong bell kamatis. Pepper. Okay. Meron akong bell pepper. Gamitin natin lahat yan. May shallots. Okay. So, tingnan natin. Ito lang ang pwede natin gawin dyan. I think alam ko mo, anong, na. Anong recipe ang pwede natin gawin dito? Hmm. Incheladas. Yes. I think it's kamote enchiladas. Okay, so gano'n. Alam mo, Arlene, excited na ako na matikman niya yung kamote enchiladas. But before that, let me put this first away. Okay. okay. For the meantime, ihiwain ko na to, ah. Pisahan ko na. Sure, sure. Okay. At, tulungan mo kalimutan, maghiwa, let's use first our apron. At saka, um, ipiprepare ko na rin yung mga kailangan mong gamitin, yung pans and all. So, Arlene, May I do this favor for you? Thank you. All right. Now I'll wear as well my kamote. Sure, I will. Okay. Akin dito na dito. Okay. So ang kamote is a slice natin into strips. Yes. Or ano? Ah, parang brown na parang mojos. Thin, thin slice. Okay. So while we are slicing our tomatoes, di ba alam mo na ang kamote is very rich in ah vitamin C? Pero nakakapagtaka. Dahil hindi naman maasim ang kamote. Mm -hmm. ba? Tapos, it's also very rich in iron. Dama. Paano nangyari sa iron to? ba? Most people are not really valuing kamote because maybe they just think that it's just a lowly and a humble uh, kamote. So, um, meron na tayong na-slice na kamote dito. Actually, we we'll just get it. So, I'll get the pan. Okay. And start frying this now. Ito ang bahala dyan. Hmm. I think it's here. Okay. So, itong um, kamote natin ay ito fry natin. Na gagawin natin siyang golden brown. Okay. Na parang, uh, isipin nyo na lang na parang ano to, crackers. ba? Yung ating, uh, instead na gagamit kayo ng uh, cookies or any crackers for that matter, you can use uh, kamote strips for your enchiladas. And you will not, uh, sabi nga, hindi ka magsisisi. Alam Dahil mo, ang lasa ka... nito ay parang tunay. Tama. <laughs> Tsaka <laughs> pwede kang maging artistic in preparing this food. Hindi uh, lang basta ensalada na inilagay mo lang dyan sa plato, di ba? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Katulad yan. Uh, pwede Correct. kang gumawa ng isang recipe na sosyal ang itsura, mm -hmm. pero mura. Yeah. Lalagyan natin siya ng a little salt kasi yung salt is actually giving a uh, giving out the sweet taste of any um, vegetable or any yung alam mo yung matatamis na na bagay pag nilagyan mo ng ng konting salt it becomes even sweeter okay while we are finishing up itong chips natin ng kamote um, so ate gagawin mo na ngayon yung 
Okay, kailangan ko ng cheese. Alright. And also, basil. Alright, okay. okay. Nasa ref lang lahat yan. Okay. So, you can get it. Tapos, um, we will wait until this remaining um, potato or sweet potato chips to, to brown. And then, ilalagay natin siya sa isang plate na merong uh, uh, napkin or table napkin para mag-absorb siya ng um, excess oils. Now, uh, ano naman ang idadagdag mo dyan, um, Arlene, dyan okay. sa, sa From salsa? From these ingredients, kamatis, sibuyas, at bell pepper, itchachop ko yung basil. Mm -hmm. Brown na yung ating ano, uh, sweet potato or ating kamote. And we will um, include this na dito sa ating na fry na, na kamote. Okay. Sa akin okay. naman, ang gagawin ko, ipiprepare ko na ngayon yung ibang ingredients. Imimix ko sila lahat and then it's ready na ilagay na natin sa kamote on right. top. Okay, right. sige. Isan ko na. Okay, so uh, while si ate ay ginagawa niya yung uh, salsa, I'm going to get a plate para i-prepare na natin yung plating. Hmm. Sa tingin mo, matutuwa kaya mga bisita ko nito? Wow, tingnan mo naman ang kulay. Sa kulay na kulay pa lang. May green, white, wow. ano pa, red, at saka yellow. Oh, yes. And Beautiful. the most of, the, of it is masustansya siya. Mm -hmm. okay. Cute ba to? Yung ganitong style? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we're gonna line this up. And then, put salsa on top of our okay. potato. Okay, lalagyan ko na? Yes, yes. We, you can do it. Okay. Kamote is also rich in carbohydrates. It can be a replacement for your kanin. And there you have it. Here's our kamote, kamote enchiladas. enchiladas. Okay, for those who just tuned in, ihanda nyo na po yung inyong lapis at papel at magkakaroon tayo ng short recap ng ating ingredients sa ating recipe for our appetizer, which is kamote enchilada. ay dadako tayo sa ating susunod na recipe. At ang recipe po natin ngayon ay ang tofu and mushroom vegetarian oyster sauce. So narito po ang mga ingredients sa kakailanganin natin. Okay. Sige, let me do the honors. Okay. okay. Uh, we have the garlic. Meron mm -hmm. tayong garlic. Ang garlic is, um, alam naman natin na uh, very rich yan in um, antioxidant. Uh, pan laban sa hypertension, we just diced the or chopped the garlic rather. And then meron naman tayo dito ng shallots. Um, tawag dito, sibuyas. ilis siya or sibuyas. Yes. And then meron tayo dito ng uh, ginger or luya. And meron tayo ng mushroom, mushroom buttons na mabibili nyo in can. This is also very rich in antioxidant. Sa mga girls na gustong magpaganda, like ko yung kumain ng mushroom. And then, meron tayo dito ng siling haba. Meron tayong bell pepper na red for colors. And then, meron din tayo ng dahon ng sibuyas. Of course, we have the vegetarian oyster sauce na uh, nire-recommend talaga namin because ayaw namin na gumamit kayo ng real oyster sauce dahil um, ang oyster sauce is made from oyster na ang oyster ay isang uh, scavenger. And ang scavenger, alam nyo naman, di ba? Kumakain nyo ng mga dumis sa dagat. And in Leviticus, it says na hindi tayo recommended to eat those sea scavengers. Now, uh, we have here the cornstarch. Corn starch. Is, this is the thickening agent na para makita natin after uh, the tofu has been fried, golden brown, uh, we will have a thick sauce. And you will expect a very colorful dish that will be uh, introduced to us by Miss Arlene. Okay? Okay, ang una natin gagawin ay uh, hiwain muna natin yung tokwa. Alright. So, ano ba? 
uh, pag hiniwa mo ang tokwa, do I have to open the yes, stove? Tama. Thank okay. you. Sige, I'll open the stove now. Akin pong hiniwa ang tofu into square. Mm -hmm. At ito po ay pipriktuhin natin until golden brown. Okay. Okay, I'll do the honors. Thank you. Tapos, uh, ang tofu ay meron itong uh, maraming nutrients na may antioxidant. At nakaka-control ito na cancer, right? Isa pa. Mm -hmm. Murang-mura yan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, it's a best substitute for meat. Yeah. Lalo na dun sa mga super vegan. We yung sustansya vegan. na makikita nyo, yung sustansya na makikita nyo sa tofu at saka sa meat ay halos pareho. Yep. So, san ka pa? Magkano ang kilo ng baka ngayon? Mm -hmm. If we compare it sa isa, isang block ng tofu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ang tofu is also a substitute doon sa mga taong uh, mahilig kumain ng karne. So, we, we will um, substitute tofu with, with the meat. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, para sa information nila, this is very good doon sa mga babaeng may estrogen imbalance. So, you, they, can, they can eat um, tofu to uh, neutralize their estrogen in the body and thus preventing cancer for women, especially uh, those who are, you know, malapit na mag-menopause. Kung ikukumpara natin ang baka sa tokwa, saan ka pa? Di siyempre, okay. pupunta na tayo sa mas mura. At the same time, the same nutrients ang makukuha natin sa kanila. That's right! Um, tsaka ang tofu, magkano lang ngayon ang kilo sa palengke? Oo nga. It's just, hindi nga siya kinilo eh. Pero Sometimes alam mo, it's parang good. mas maganda kung mas marunong silang gumawa rin ng tokwa. Mm -hmm. pa, paano ba ginagawa ang tokwa? So, ang ginagawa ang toko kapag ka merong source dun sa lugar nyo ng soybeans. Okay. So, magbababad kayo ng soybeans and then after nyo mababad ito overnight, gigilingin. So, sa mga palengke, merong mga gilingan. Pwede kayong magpagiling doon. Tinatanggal ba niyan yung kalat? Oo, mas maganda kasi yung uric acid content ng isang soybeans ay mas nalilesen. Kasi yung iba, takot kumain mm -hmm. ng tokwa dahil nga made of beans. Yes. So, kung titingnan natin, mas mamininimize natin yung content ng uric acid kung ito ay tatanggalan natin ng balat. And then, i-extract nyo, kukunin nyo yung, yung katas ng soybeans o yung tinatawag na milk ng soybeans. And then, makukuluan nyo ito at lalagyan nyo ng emulsifier para bumuo. What's emulsifier? Yun yung ginagamit na pampabuo. Pwede okay. kayong gumamit ng kalamansi mm -hmm. or pwede kayong gumamit ng vinegar. Depende po sa gusto ninyo according to your taste. And then, ito po ay pag napakuluan nyo na, uh, lalagyan nyo syempre siya ng tubig, additional water, and then saka nyo sasalain and then makakagawa na po kayo ng homemade tofu. Wow! Diba? Ang dali. Ang dali. Yes. Okay. So, di ba minsan yung soybeans may aftertaste siyang mapakla? Pa, paano ba yung tinatanggal? Uh, depende po sa pag-ano ng, ng, ng soybeans nyo. Kasi ang soybeans, kapag kaluma, medyo parang nangingitim-ngitim na siya, yung balat niya. Pagka binili mo ito sa palengke. Pero kung ito ay medyo yellowish, much better kasi mas bago siya. Alright. So, na, namiminimize yung lasa ng map mapait. Parang mapait. Mm -hmm. Yun, 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 yun yung, yung observation ko doon sa... Sa, sa paggawa ng tokwa. Pero Kasi ako ba? mismo gumagawa din ng tokwa eh. Oh, very good. Mm. Patikman mo naman ako, no? Ay, mas syempre. Ayaan mo. Uh -oh. so, susunod, dadalan kita. Okay. Uh, pero sabi nung, may, I, I've, I've heard and I've watched pala a TV show na nag-feature sila ng may mga gumagawa ng tokwa sa palengke. Mm. And it's not really good. Saan ba tayo pwedeng bumili ng tokwa? Yung malinis. And safe. Diba? Minsan kasi sa palengke ang sinasabi nila may na-feature na, na hindi talaga ganun kagal, kalinis yung pagkagawa. What, what do you recommend? We buy it from the department store or we buy the one that's properly packed you properly in the market? Na para it's safe. Kasi usually makikita mo sa palengke nakababad siya sa isang sa bowl ng tubig na kung saan medyo iba yung amoy. Luma na. Pinapalitan lang nila ng tubig. And also, kapag bumili ka, meron siyang lasang kakaiba. 
parang angos. Ano alam mo ba yun? Yung oh. parang biluto siya sa kahoy, tapos yung usok, napunta na lahat dun sa soya. Soya, oo. Okay. Oh. Yun Natikman yun, ko yun, yun sa taho. Yun, oo, yun yung experience ko doon. Alright, sa tokwa. <laughs> sa palengke. Sige, now, meron na kayong tips ha, kung saan kayo bibili at paano nyo bibiliin or kaya gagawin nyo yung tokwa. Di ba, ilang araw din yan bago ma ma mabuo? Mm, matagal. Ay, mm -hmm. hindi, sadali lang. Kasi pag inilagay mo na siya sa hulmahan, mo madidrain siya, madidrain yung tubig. Automatic, pag nadrain yon, yun na yung tokwa nyo, yung nabuo na yon, Yun na yung tokwa nyo. Hihiwain nyo na lang at kakainin. And you can even eat it raw. Oh. Kasi niluto nyo na yun eh. Pinakuluan nyo na. Uh -huh. Taho ba yan? Ah, hindi. Kasi hmm. tokwa yung ano natin buo. Iba yung taho. Okay. Iba ang paggawa naman ng taho. Oh, pero soya rin yun. Soya rin yun. Pero paano yung mga matatanda na medyo sumasakit yung mga tuhod? Well, kapag ka sumasakit ang tuhod, hindi naman ang karaniwang sinasabi nila, sinisisi nila yung mga beans. Pero okay. actually, it's not. Kasi siguro, kumain sila ng, ng too much na galing din sa ibang source, kagaya ng meat at iba pang pagkain. Aside from the tokwa or beans, usually sinisisi nila yung munggo, pero hindi dapat. Kasi kailangan din ng katawan natin yan dahil kaya nga ibinigay ng Panginoon yan eh. Kasi plant-based, kumbaga, okay. mas masustansya kesa sa ibang pagkain. Alright, I'm almost done with the... Okay, uh, tokwa. So, so, tofu, tokwa. Ano ba ang kaiba Ibig... ng tofu at saka tokwa? Pare, ang tofu ay uh, usually mal mas malambot kesa mm -hmm. sa tokwa. Alright. Yung tokwa mas firm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. O, okay ka na dyan? Yes, almost done. So, okay. I just have to turn so, it off. So, I can mo. set aside. And what's next? And then, we will saute everything. Alright. Ay, lilita nung pala ako sa'yo. Mm. Ano nga pala yung isoflavones? Naririnig ko lagi yan. Alam mo yung tokwa, mayaman yan sa isoflavones. Mm -hmm. At nag-i-increase din yan ng bone density. Oo, siguro yan yung pwede nating i-going alternative dun sa mga matatandang may lactose intolerance, no? Para mag-improve yung kanilang bone density dahil nga merong mga osteoporosis ang kadalasan sa mga babaeng tumatanda. So maybe we can recommend this one, right? Okay, so what do we do now? Okay, mag-umpisa na tayo. Okay. Igigisa natin yung sibuyas. Okay. Okay. Tapos, um, ano yan? Kakaramelize mo? Mm-hmm. Uh, pag kinaramelize natin, lumalabas yung sarap ng sibuyas. We'll make it ano, half-cook lang para medyo mas crispy. Oh, Tapos, okay. Tapos, ilagay natin ang bawang. Mm-hmm. Wow. Naamoy ko na. Masarap yan. Mm, Siyempre. Mm. Luya. Okay, Luya. Let me know what you need. So I can, uh, by all means, give it to you. Mushroom. Okay, mushroom. So Thank you. Alright, so yung mushroom, pampaganda to. Ito yung aming uh, laging kinukuha dati sa bundok. Pag namumundok, di ba? Pag oh, maulan. Sabi nila pag kumikidlat daw, tumutubo yes. daw ang mushroom. Yes! Okay, okay. ang next? oyster sauce. Vegetarian oyster sauce. And small amount of water. Okay, so I will give you a small amount of water. So, bakit kailangan mo pang lagyan ng water? Konti lang kasi masyadong maalat ito. Mm. So, gagawin natin mild lang yung lasa niya. Di ba pwede mo rin gawin to from scratch yung mm. parang oyster sauce? Yeah. Uh -huh. And How then a little uh, cornstarch. Okay, the cornstarch must have a little water, right? Mm -hmm. Para um, hindi na naman ano, thicken. Pag And then, small amount of mushroom seasoning. Kung wala po kayong mushroom seasoning, okay lang natanggalin natin. Okay? So, lalagyan natin. Ito kasi pag masyadong thick, okay, hindi ready. magandang tingnan dun sa, sa dish. Hmm, Nagiging uh, curdy. Oh. Nagko-curd yung ating... Uh, Wait lang. Ay, ako ay <laughs> kasi para ako to pa. ako. Gusto ko lang. Ay, hindi pala dadating na ba yung bisita mo? Ano oras na sila dadating? Ah, uh, maya-maya lang pa din. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sana makatapos tayo bago sila dumating. Oo <laughs> naman, ang hirap kaya. Ba maya niyan magka-crowd sila tapos nagugutom na, you know. Ang hirap kaya. So, what's next? Ah, uh, iayos mo na sa plaig, ihahalo ko na yung tokwa. Ah, oh, so ihahalo na natin okay. yung tokwa and then Ah, uh, so we'll get some platter for that. 
Okay, lulutuin okay, muna natin cornstarch until na maluto. And then, ipi-plate na natin. Ganun lang. Napakadali. Here now is our tofu and mushroom With? vegetarian oyster sauce. Sa mga kaibigan namin na gustong makakuha ng recipe, please watch this. complete ang ating menu with the dessert and the beverage. This time, I will be making a poor man's panna cotta and Arling here will be making a mango and malunggay shake. Now, to make the poor man's panna cotta, we are going to use cornstarch instead of gelatin. Then, we are going to use as well cream, condensed milk, And for garnishing, we'll be using fruit mix. And I have here a kaong. Um, and we'll add a little bit of water para maayos natin yung consistency. Ang una natin gagawin ay, let's get a whisk and mix all the ingredients except for the fruit mix and the kaong. We we'll just get a little of the milk. And then, the cream. Let's put all the cream here. It's like one-fourth cup of cream. And the cornstarch. Mix it all together. Before lighting up the fire. So make sure that all the ingredients The dry ingredients mixes with the wet ingredients. Okay, so while we're whisking, and all the dry ingredients have already mixed with the water, ang gagawin natin ay to turn on natin ang stove. Okay, so continuous mixing the mixture of the cornstarch, the cream, and the milk, and the calamansi juice has already thickened. And What we're gonna do is turn off the stove and we'll put it in individual cups. All right? So basically we're through. Um, once this um, cools down and hardens, we'll just put the fruit mix and the cow. Now here's our poor man's panna cotta. Ang susunod natin gagawin ngayon ay ang malunggay and mango shake. Kami so ang you? una, ang gagawin natin, ilalagay natin ang mango. And then, one cup of water. We need sugar. Ice. Parang masarap to, mama. Yeah. Masarap na masarap to. I think so. Okay, okay po. And then, and then, shake po natin. Ngayon po ay isasali na natin ang kalahati ng mango shake. Distinct yung taste ng Philippine mango uh, because it has the juiciest type of mango. Unlike other mangoes from different parts of the world. Now, okay, what we're gonna do next Ilalagay po natin ang half ng malunggay. O, ang malunggay natin is very rich in other in in so many vitamins and minerals. In fact, it's regarded as a superfood. Um, may antioxidant siya, may antibacterial, may anti-diabetic um, uh, components. And then, marami pa siyang other um, minerals which is very good at wound healing it's very good also in um, lowering blood pressure 
And then, ang malunggay natin is uh, Philippine malunggay, regarded as the one of the best malunggays in the world. And we can get a large amount of what they call ben oil. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, we will blend this. Okay. Ang gagawin naman po natin ay ilalagay po natin ang half na ingredients sa baso. Let's add it slowly. Para yung colors. Okay, 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 okay. Now, let's put some mango dressing. There you have it. Our mango malunggay shake. Sa mga kaibigan namin na gustong malaman ang recipe ng Hormans Panacotta and our mango malunggay shake, Here's a quick recap of our recipe. And afterwards, we will be pausing for a short break and we'll be back. Wow, Arlene, look at this. Ang dami nating nagawa at ang ganda ng mga pag-present ng ating mga food. With the meager, you know, ingredients that we have, look, we were able to make an enchilada, a tofu with mushroom and vegetarian oyster sauce. We have our Pormans panna cotta. And then, of course, our very beautiful mango and malunggay shake. Mga kaibigan, it's Tiki Man time! And before we do that, we will have to thank first our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who has given us the intelligence, the knowledge to be resourceful enough in our dishes. Okay, shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we would like to thank you for giving us the wisdom to be resourceful, to find things, and to find um, different ingredients for our um, fusion of recipes and may we be able to glorify you as we eat this food and may the viewers who are watching right now be blessed with the food that we have prepared and may they also do it in their individual homes and may you bless this program that it will continue and glorify your holy name and may we be nourished with this food in front of us. We ask all these things in the loving name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, okay. Tiki man time! Now, mga kaibigan, um, kukuha kami itong enchilada at para matikman namin, syempre, kami, kami ay magtitake ng one bite. Mmm! Masarap. Sarap? Yeah. Parang Hindi nachos. Hindi tayo magpapahiya. Hindi. Parang nachos. Okay. Next up, next up is our tofu, mushroom, and vegetarian oyster sauce. I like the mushroom. Pampaganda. Sabi nila. Okay. Hmm. Tagal naman ng makat nito. Gusto ko na. Gusto na isubo. Hmm. Sarap ba? Sarap. Mmm! Mmm! Mga vegetarian ba yung guest mo? Hindi, but I want them to try one. Okay. Mmm! It's a good start na ito ang ma-introduce mo sa kanila. Yeah. Okay mga kaibigan, maraming salamat sa pag-aantabay niyo po sa amin. Samahan niyo po kami muli sa susunod na pagkakataon sa pagluto ng mga putahe na lutong gulay. Dito pa rin where we feel not only our tummies, but also our spirits, food, food and soul. soul.